Ewan, how are you? Hello, how are you? Good, how are you doing, buddy? Uh, yeah, not too bad, thanks. We're all big fans of you over here. We don't get to see a lot of you. Obviously, we, we saw you first in The Office. Yeah. Which you, everybody's seen you across the world doing that. But uh, was that your, your big breakout? It, yeah, I mean, pretty much. That was the kind of the first sort of real TV thing I did, I guess. So, And it was a good way to start. Yeah, really. I mean, the, the, the acknowledgement and, you know, people knowing you from that must be unreal, right? Have you, I mean, have you traveled abroad and had people still know who you are? Yeah, I mean, that that was the weirdest, was, was going, like, to uh, L.A. and having people recognize me there and stuff was kind of a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it happens everywhere. That's got to be so cool. <laughs> you know, uh, you know I, do you have a problem where now every every job you try and get, they're like, we want Keith? Um, I don't know. I guess there's that. It's just the stylistically, it's probably uh, something that I get cast for a lot, just that kind of style of humor. But I kind of I enjoy that that sort of comedy anyway. So it's kind of it's not too too big a deal, really. Right. I mean, th the character of Keith, is, is that a lot like you? No, not not really. I mean, I guess in a in a sense, he is. It, it's kind of I guess it's me sort of on low energy mode, right? As it were. <laughs> yeah, I was. Just, I, I mean, I it's amazing would, people who, go, who sort of go, they think they recognise me, and then when I speak, they go, "Oh, you, you, you've got his voice as well." And <laughs> like, well, like, Hello, it's me. Yeah. No, I, I read somewhere that you know when you you were you you were background you know cast for the office, but then you you broke out by getting that one Scotch egg scene. Well, it wasn't quite. It was basically what they when they did the first series. Uh, they didn't want sort of uh, extras in. They wanted like actors to play the staff because in the first series originally when it was written, a lot of the there was a lot of dialogue that just said office worker. And they hadn't decided who was going to do those lines, and so what, they wanted to cast actual people, actors rather than extras, so that if they needed to throw a line to somebody, you know, it wouldn't be someone who was just there because they like to earn some extra cash and be on a film set, right. as it were. So they, it was kind of they did have sort of people from a comedy background and an improv background in those roles, and then I guess I started doing a couple of those lines, and they ended up giving me more of them because they kind of liked what I was doing with it, I guess. Now, now, do you, you have you, are you have a background as a stand-up comedian or, or or just acting? I started doing uh, improv uh, comedy, and then I started doing uh, sketch sketch shows. I was in a sketch group, and that's what sort of led me into actually getting work, sort of professional work, I guess. Wow, that's that's very cool, man. That's very cool. I, I've checked out a lot of your little videos you make on YouTube, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's it's, yeah. Some, it's some funny stuff, you know. <laughs> uh, of course, you know, of course, you know, knowing you as Keith from the office, you know, I it's like I see some of them, you know, your the delivery is is, is Keith, even though you don't say you're Keith, <laughs> you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then you got some other stuff, and I'm like, oh wow, he, he, he does he does this stuff too. That's cool. One one of my favorites was you did uh, your little dating intro video for that one place. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and you telling the chick to to pay her own pay, bus fare. Pay her own bus fare. <laughs> I wouldn't date him. Yeah, my wife's like, if if she if he can't get me a cab, I'm not going. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least pick me up. <laughs> yeah, I, I have my good friend Big A is one of our co-hosts here, and he wants he was Big A. You had a question about Scotch egg, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, actually, what is it, a Scotch egg? <laughs> what is it? Yeah, he's American. He doesn't yes. know. Okay, well, a Scotch egg is uh, it's kind of a monstrosity, really. But it's, uh, <laughs> it's a British tradition. It's a, it's a hard-boiled egg mm -hmm. surrounded with sausage meat and then covered in breadcrumbs and kind of baked like that, I guess. When, it's, when they're sort of sold in supermarkets and petrol stations as just sort of a, a grab a bit of food from a fridge, but actually... Some sort of restaurants and pubs do them properly, where it's actually made with nice meat 
right. and the egg is kind of runny in the middle. But the, most oh. of the ones we get are just horrible, just like awful. <laughs> 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 like the time you get it, like Tesco. <laughs> yeah, exactly. When we visit England, I, I pick up we, a we couple of Scotch eggs <laughs> just because no, you can't get that stuff over here. So even the bad British food, I'll eat when I get a chance. You know what I mean? It's one of those things where it, it's, it's yeah, it's, it's such a sort of uh, tradition, and it's when you when you think about it, it's kind of disgusting. But <laughs> yeah, they've, they've got a certain I was going to say quite tastiness about them, I guess. <laughs> well, well, I, or I, sausage rolls. Yeah, mm-hmm. sausage They're rolls. Yeah, but you have sausage. Yeah. Uh, I, or pork. I sorry, go ahead. Or pork pie. Pork pies are horrendous too, with the jelly around the side. I don't like that part. Yeah, yeah. I I read actually with interest that you know you you, you food, aren't they? They're all the sort of the same. The yeah. British food picnic from hell type yeah. that we grew up with, really. Right, exactly. I mean, I remember I I lived in England until I was twenty two. So when I was driving around for my job, I I'd st- I'd stop for a Scotch egg, you know, and, and a and a sausage roll, you know, and then you come to America and it's all you know triple cheeseburgers, you know, with four hundred cholesterol and. 900 calories and you know or a bacon sandwich yeah you know, we i used to when, I, when my wife first came to england with me we i took her to one of those trucks on the side of the road that oh made the uh, made a so bake, bacon <laughs> buddies and she's like what's a bacon buddy i'm like it's butter bacon and a roll <laughs> or a, nice, yeah. a nice sausage on a baguette oh, but you, uh, you i'm surprised no scotch egg company had you do a commercial <laughs> it was a missed opportunity wasn't it I yeah. mean, <laughs> <laughs> Because you, you never, never seem to happen. No one in America that I ever talked to, uh, the ones I've heard of a Scotch egg, it's because of you. Yeah, people. I get people going. A lot of Americans going. What, what are you eating? Like an orange or something? <laughs> <laughs> See, no, I, I guess s- not quite. Not, it's sort of the unhealthy version of an orange. <laughs> No. A, bit of a, a bit of a snack at uh, a break time. Yeah, someone told me you don't even like Scotch eggs. Is that true? Do you know what I give? I can't even remember if I like them or not. I, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just, I just say whatever I kind of feel like at the time because I can't even remember if I like them. <laughs> so you don't seek them out, right? And then, then I sort of probably resented them for a, a couple of years, and then I sort of liked them again, and it's, uh, it's just come full circle. Right. Uh, I, I, another thing we saw you in, I mean, only for a, a little while, but, you know, we recognized you was, was uh, the, the Little Britain clip where you're the bus conductor. <laughs> That's right, yeah. I did a couple of sketches for them in the, in the early series. Yeah, what a That was good for yeah. they're, they're, they're very, they're funny. I mean, Matt is just, when Matt's playing that character, the Vicky Pollard character, it's like, oh God, it's be around because it's just, it's <laughs> insane. Get, it's insane the way he gets his lines out. Yeah, that's how he does it, really. yeah, I'm trying to. I don't know of any other shows that have made it over here that ha- you've been in. Um, I was checking out, you know, th- your YouTube clips. To s- you know, to see yeah. Who. What What's the deal with the opera group that sings two live crew songs? Uh, well, that was um, there were a couple of uh, a few years ago. There were some some groups over here uh, who started doing sort of operatic versions of pop songs. There was one called G Four. Who were in like a talent Britain's Got the X Factor or something, and there was one called Il Devo. It was a group uh, put together by Simon Cowell, who were the, these sort of four opera singers singing pop songs, and it was like the idea was that they were sexy, yeah. and women loved them, and they kind of it was a crossover market, and they did these little videos of them on tour, and we watched them. The guys who I write sort of was writing with, we watched it, and they clearly, absolutely hated each other, <laughs> and it was kind of. <laughs> They'd been thrown together, and they clearly were just sort of complete divas who wanted to be solo stars, hadn't quite made it, thought, oh, I'll chase the Simon Cowell money. Right. And, it just, <laughs> and we thought it was a funny idea to kind of have a group like that, pop, pop opera singers who were doing pop songs. And then we thought, oh, the logical way, with all these sort of covers of The Killers and all this sort of stuff, was for them to start doing quite hardcore rap covers. <laughs> it would have just be ridiculous. And uh, so that's kind of how it came about, really. Was that on a TV show, or was that like a web series type thing? What it was, it was actually for, it was commissioned for BBC Online. They don't really do it anymore, but for a while they mm. did. They had, like, original content on their, on the BBC Comedy website. Right. And so we, we, we did it for those guys, so it was sort of, yeah, it was an online show. So so what are you up to now? Now, well, I've done a few, I've done a few, I've actually had a tiny, a sort of, well, not, sort of a, a smallish uh, funny part in a show called Galavant which uh, 
I think goes out on ABC over in the States. Oh, really? Yeah. So uh, that's quite fun. And I'm actually in the middle of shooting uh, a comedy zombie film called Shed of the Dead Shed at the moment. The dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we, we need some more Ewan over here, man, because you, your, your, your delivery and, and that. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you, you don't just act that way, but, you know, you, you're... The, f- the the way your your Keith and that delivery you do you're 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 famous all over the world for that you know. Well, you know, I do, I do my best. What can I say? <laughs> I was t- I don't know if you I was t- we were talking to uh, there's a TV show over here called Cheaters. I don't know if you ever saw that on reality TV channel over there. It, it's just a. I will make it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that. Yeah. yeah, we had the host of that on, and he he finished working there like two years ago. And I was asking him, I'm like, hey, you know, I understand that because of who you are, you get a, you know, a, an audition. But then when you go to the audition, do they want you to be the guy off of Cheaters, or do you actually get to be yourself? You know? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, you know, I wonder if that's the same thing with you. You probably. I've had, I've had the other way. I've had, I've had like a, gone to a, an audition and it was an ad for an advert once, and the brief for the advert said for this character, think. Keith from the office. <laughs> <laughs> Agent thought, well, you know, why not? And send me along. I didn't get it. That's wow. that's bizarre, right? <laughs> they wanted someone who's a parody of you. They didn't want the actual guy, I guess. It, right? it was, I, think, I think it was just two on the nose. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they just wanted a guy looking like he was pretending to be you, not actually the dude yeah, that does like it perfectly. It's, it's a tough one. They, they can't really say, well, we went in another direction when you don't get that audition. It's yeah. like, <laughs> you failed as yourself. You yeah. know, there's no hiding. Yeah, we, we decided to go with the Gareth angle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I, I got to say, I, we follow you on YouTube. You know, we can't wait to see some more stuff from you, buddy. You know, I hope some more shows that you're in get over here. And mm-hmm. if you ever come over to New York, we'd love to have a beer. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Definitely. Of course. Yeah. yeah, that would be a lot of fun, man. I, you know, yeah. I, 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 do you think it's hard? I mean, t- the office is massive, right? So, you know, that you're, you're huge from being in the office. I, is it hard now because you want to make the next thing you do like that successful? Because it's very hard. That's a m- massive show. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. like um, you know. I mean, at the moment, in terms of sort of acting-wise, I'm kind of... Uh, I guess sort of an actor for hire, and I'd kind of go where the work is. So right. it's not, I don't necessarily feel pressure like that because people, you know, you're lucky if you get any, if you get one show in, in your lifetime that's, right. that's, that's so it's, it's, you know, in a way, it's kind of like the pressure's off, you know. Right. At least, at least if everything else goes wrong, I'll still have that, you know. Yeah. So it's kind of, I don't feel, yeah, I don't feel pressure at all going on doing, doing other work. Because the, the like the the shows over here where you have kids or the the stars, you know, most of them just yeah. fall off the rails when they hit eighteen, do drugs, and half of them die, you know, because there's yeah. no way they can be what they were as a kid. Fame comes and goes so quickly, you know, with most yeah, stuff. Yeah. You know, I mean, The Office isn't obviously an exception, but you know, a lot of the stuff you could be famous for like two days on the internet, and then no one cares who you are after that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I guess that if you, if you let it go through your head and you start believing. That you're the big I am, then that's probably when the trouble starts. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. Well, is there, is is there anything you like to plug? Well, there's a I've got a bit of a, a small part in a film called The Lobster. I don't know when it's coming out over there, but it just opened here uh, yesterday. Oh yeah. It's a film. Colin Farrell, John C. Riley. Wow. Oh wow. Uh, wow. Ben, or Rachel Veidt. So it's a really good cast. There's some names. Uh, so look out! I don't know when I haven't checked. I don't know when that's coming out in the states, but I imagine it will be at some point. Yeah, it, wow. uh, that's it, crazy. I can and as well. So that's one. The lobster, and then look out next year for uh, Shed of the Dead, a zombie comedy zombie horror I film. Can't wait to see that. Oh wow! Which, uh, <laughs> so that's a good bit. That's yeah. crazy. I'm just looking at the list. It it said it was at the New York. Comedy Festival on September 27th. So they've showed it at the festival over here, the Lobster movie. I'm just looking for the... Yeah. Yeah, I don't see it on the... I don't even see a general date. Maybe... Some of those movies, I mean, it, it, with those actors, you wouldn't have thought so, but a lot of movies here go onto video demand now quicker than yeah. they even go to yeah. the theater, you know? They, they make a lot more money than doing that because people bootleg the movie otherwise. <laughs> you know? Absolutely, yeah. 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 
All right, big guy, you got any questions, old buddy over there? Um, he, he just wanted to know what a Scotch egg was. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, any, anything else? What's, what's the, what, what, when is this coming out? Is this this weekend? Is it? Yeah, on Friday. Yeah. Hey, can you do one thing for us? Can, can you can you say hi? I I don't want to be a dick and say Keith, but I was gonna say this is Keith. Can you from the office? Can, <laughs> and, and this is this oh. dysfunctional podcast. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Here we go. This is Keith from the office, and you are listening to the dysfunctional podcast. Oh, that's what I, you, you just reminded me what I forgot. I was telling Big A that you do a crazy Ali G impression. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's one of my best impressions. All right, let's, let's, come on, let's you hear some of it. You got it. You got to. You got to finish with some of that. Come on. I don't. I, uh, that's it. I, I just did it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> uh, now I want more. <laughs> Yeah, because I, I was showing Big A that uh, the clip, you know, where you're dressed as Ali G talking to, yeah. you know, talking about going to the USA. And he's, yeah, like, yeah. he's like, he looks like Ali G. And I'm like, yeah, I think that's what he's going for. <laughs> 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 yeah. It was fancy dress. Yeah. That was a, uh, yeah. <laughs> did, you, uh, did you get to make any of that character your own? Did they, like, ask you to, uh, you know, bring your own to it? Or did they kind of knew what they wanted and you just had to do what they wanted? Well, I started just doing what I wanted to do, really. That's kind of what, what they liked about it, I guess. I mean, because I didn't, like you say, we were the, the support actors. We didn't kind of know much about the show when we went into it. And I didn't, I hadn't read any of the scripts even when we first went there. All I knew was it was a mock documentary. Uh, and I thought the only kind of one of my favorite films, obviously, of all time was the sort of Spinal Tap. And I thought, well, if it was a mock documentary, I'd just kind of, you know, do a Nigel Tuffle, I'll just sort of chew gum and look vacant and right. see what happens. Right. And it kind of, uh, that's how it started, really, I guess. Wow. That's crazy. Imagine, imagine if you'd have walked in there and, and told him, I don't like Scott Jake. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Well, I, Next. You know, I'd have been <laughs> sacked on the spot, I'd imagine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, Ewan, I really appreciate your call, buddy. Sorry to bother you on a weekend. Um well, no. I, I, you can get to, you can go to you and Macintosh on Twitter. Is there any you have what you have you and Macintosh dot com too, right? Yeah, yeah, both of those all good. Yeah, so uh, I hope everybody checks you out, and we look forward to seeing you in those movies this year and next year. Great, thanks. I look forward to hearing, hearing myself on this. Yes, <laughs> you will. I will tweet you when uh, when it's going to be on. Okay. All right. Thank you for the call, buddy. Thank you. Thank have you a very great much. Day. All right. Take care. Take Take care. care. Bye. 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 Nice guy. Yeah, he's cool. Mm. All right.